Now, the best thing I said, like I said, can happen is Mac get this fire lit under him and totally understand that nothing is given in the NFL. Well, KJ, he was a pro bowler last year. Okay, I'm going to show you how pro bowling really doesn't mean a whole lot of things once you start looking back. So let's go five years ago. Who was on the Pro Bowl five years ago that was quarterback because Mac Jones was there last year? So in 2017, here are your Pro Bowl quarterbacks. Tom Brady, Carson Wentz. We see that where, where that's going. Alex Smith. Yeah, they're already ch- they're chiseling out his, his bus already in Canton. Drew Brees, Ben Roethlisberger, Derek Carr, Jared Goff, <laughs> Phillip Rivers, and Russell Wilson. I, I did say Jared Goff was a pro bowler. He's been a pro bowler. But Mac was a pro bowler doing the gritty. And I don't really buy the whole thing that people are turning against Mac because his, his head's getting bigger. I, I think that's a little pro wrestling there more so than it is, you know, real wrestling. You know. So let's go five years before that. Ten years ago, who was a pro bowl quarterback? Because Mac Jones is a pro bowl quarterback, you know. Peyton Manning, okay. Tom Brady, okay. Aaron Rodgers, okay. Matt Ryan, eh, okay. Andrew Luck, okay. Matt Schaub? <laughs> Drew Brees, Eli Manning, Russell Wilson, Robert Griffin the third. My point being, and I'll get to what was 15 years ago in a second, is there's always going to be one or two at the Pro Bowl that nobody really loses sleep over at the end of the day. 15 years ago, Brady, Favre, Matt Hasselback, Peyton Manning, Tony Romo, Derek Anderson, Ben Roethlisberger, Jeff Garcia. This is what I mean. Sometimes when you're at Alabama and you don't have to compete for your starting job, you feel like you're privileged. 